right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, and welcome to Chelsea Player Profiles, the series where we take a closer look, a deep dive into a Chelsea football club player, talk about their strengths, weaknesses, and pretty much their player profile. Today we're going to be talking about Chelsea's midfield maestro Mateo Kovacic. At the beginning of the 18-19 season in the Premier League, Chelsea Football Club took Mateo Kovacic on loan for Real Madrid for one year. After impressing under coach Maurizio Sarri for their campaign, Chelsea then negotiated the full-term purchase of the Croatian midfielder prior to the 19-20 campaign. So what kind of player is Mateo Kovacic? Well, let's open the stats screen and take a closer look. Mateo Kovacic is a 25-year-old Croatian international midfielder. He is right-footed, 178 centimeters tall, and weighs 78 kilograms, which is actually quite a lot considering he's not so big. Mateo Kovacic can play pretty much every position in the midfield, but don't expect too much of a goal threat from the Croatian. He can certainly play the base of a midfield in a lone pivot, or indeed a double pivot, due to his fantastic distribution. But some may argue you have seen the best out of Mateo Kovacic when he plays a number eight position, where he's more mobile, perhaps shuttling the ball backwards and forwards. So that's where he plays positionally. But what's his skill set? What is he good at? Being a midfielder, Mateo Kovacic's most no Notable strength is probably his dribbling and how he can progress the ball through the midfield, retaining possession. He has a very low center of gravity and actually his physical stature is similar of Eden Hazard, so the way he moves he often looks very like Eden Hazard when he's carrying the ball. Very, very, very press resistant in possession and in the modern era of football you have to be able to play in tight spaces and play out of the opposition press which Mateo Kovacic can do incredibly well and probably he's unrivaled in this skill set. Kovacic is also an excellent passer of the ball. He maintains an excellent passing accuracy across all competitions, about 90% accurate and this is not just short passes combining which he can do very very well he can also play an accurate long pass that's why he's very good in the lone pivot role as well as playing more of a shuttling number eight although he's not a renowned interceptor like perhaps N'Golo Kante not really much of a destroyer he can still put a tackle in and do defensive work and do a lot of running so really it might seem like he's got it all but he probably does have one weakness and that is not scoring goals you could be forgiven for thinking that's not a priority for Mateo Kovacic due to everything else what he offers perhaps ball progression keeping control of the midfield etc but when he is advancing up the pitch playing as number eight really you need that ability to score goals certainly if he's playing under coach Frank Lampard he has scored a couple of excellent goals for Chelsea but they're few and far between and Chelsea midfielders and indeed often midfielders in the modern age in the Premier League need to be able to score a goal so if he gets a couple more in his locker, then Mateo Kovacic is probably the most complete midfielder in the Premier League. Just because I'm saying he's a complete midfielder doesn't mean I'm saying he's the best. I do, of course, acknowledge the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, etc. Right, so that's our look at Mateo Kovacic today. Swing by Football Therapy and we'll be looking at other players under the microscope. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby